All living things in this planet are a part of a natural and social wave of life that supports and sustains us. Our ecosystem has evolved for millions of years, resulting in diverse and complex biological communities living in balance with their environment. Be it land, mountains, or rivers, life exists everywhere. The interaction of living organisms in an ecosystem can be of different types. So the term food chain describes who is home in the wild. So each food chain is a possible pathway through which energy and nutrients can flow through the ecosystem. Food chains are classified into three different types. These are grazing food chain, detritus food chain, and parasitic food chain. Now what is a grazing food chain? The grazing food chain starts from the green plants or producers and passes through plant-eating animals or herbivores and ends in carnivores. So in a forest, deer and tiger is connected in the form of a food chain. In a grazing food chain, the first transfer of energy always occurs in between green plants and herbivores. Usually, these are long-sized chains because loss of solar energy gets captured by the green plants. Now we are going to discuss detritus food chain or saprophytic food chain. To understand this type of food chain, we need to know what is detritus. Well, it's a dead decaying organic matter such as fallen leaves, animal dung, etc. So the organisms which feed on dead decaying organic matter are called detritivores uh, such as insect larvae, nematodes, etc. And other consumers depend on detritivores as a source of food and form a detritus or saprophytic food chain. Usually these food chains are very short because less amount of energy is available in dead decaying organic matter. Now we are going to discuss parasitic food chain. This food chain starts from large hosts to small parasitic organisms. For example, let us assume this is a large tree in a forest where different birds live and there can be many parasites dependent on these birds. So this is a perfect example of parasitic food chain. Thanks for visiting BioGalaxy online. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to answer a simple question at the end of this video.